Welcome to our channel, today we're going to explore failed aviation designs in history. The Avro Canada VZ-9 Avrocar was an experimental aircraft developed by the Canadian aircraft manufacturer Avro Canada in the 1950s. The Avrocar was an ambitious attempt to create a flying saucer-like aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and high-speed flight. The Avrocar featured a disc-shaped body, with a central cockpit for the pilot and a surrounding outer ring that housed the aircraft's engines and fans. The fans were designed to create a cushion of air beneath the aircraft, which would allow it to hover and fly at low altitudes. The aircraft was powered by a series of turbines that were connected to the central rotor via a complex system of ducts and vents. This system was highly inefficient and was unable to generate the kind of thrust needed to achieve the aircraft's desired speed and altitude capabilities. The Avra car was also plagued by a number of technical and engineering challenges. The aircraft was difficult to maintain, and its complex systems required frequent repairs and maintenance. The Avra car's unusual shape and design made it difficult to fly, and the aircraft was prone to accidents and crashes. Another challenge was the aircraft's limited range and endurance. The Avra car's fans were loud and inefficient and the aircraft had a limited payload capacity, which made it difficult to carry fuel and other essential equipment. As a result, the Avrocar had a maximum flight time of only a few minutes and a top speed of just 35 miles per hour. The Avrocar also faced competition from other VTOL aircraft designs, including the Bell X-14 and the Hiller X-18, which were more stable and efficient in flight. In addition, the Avrocar's high cost and complex design made it difficult to manufacture and operate which ultimately contributed to its failure. Despite its failure to enter production, the Avra car remains an important milestone in the history of experimental aircraft design. The aircraft demonstrated the potential of VTOL technology and helped pave the way for future generations.